friends here at MD Vegan. Today I want to make something that keeps for a while. And um, I have flax seeds. They're very inexpensive. And I have raisins. Very inexpensive too and everywhere available. Super healthy too, yeah. And the flax seeds have wonderful um, fat balance in there, inside and they have also nice proteins, yeah. Flax seeds are wonderful and um, they have so many good benefits, health benefits, yeah. And uh, the raisins too, they are super antioxidant, yeah, from the red and the, and the, the peel, uh, especially, they are famous for that. It's like cinnamon, yeah, uh, they're, they're blending so nicely with cinnamon. Um, both have this super high antioxidant, so I like cinnamon and raisin. But today I don't take cinnamon, just raisins, to make the flax seed a little bit more delicious, because the flavor is pretty dull, yeah? It's like iron a little bit, metal, metal flavor. I would say, I always think of the metal, like a, like a soybean a little bit, yeah? But in a different way. Um, but the, the, the raisin is so nice with it, and also, to make it interesting, and also more keeping, I have a walnut. Else, that is something you can eat every day. Walnuts are super healthy. Yeah, um, they are wonderful and um, wonderful fatty uh, content. The, the fatty acids are perfectly balanced. Yeah, um, with regard to what humans need, and um, so that makes them very very important for the diet. It is similar with the with the flax seeds, but. Um, the flax it has more protein, the, um, the walnut has more fat. Uh, so this all together blended will be very sustaining. I mean, it keeps for a while, maybe two or three or four, five hours even, it depends on how much you eat. Um, on its own it would be not so nice, it is a base for a granola. I blend it to liquid form, putting all the flax seed in the blender, um, yeah, and only half of the raisins, more than half, and only half of the walnut, walnuts. Oops, yeah, oops, it's a bit too much, but that's okay. So I have, I keep some, I keep some of the walnuts and the raisins, half, about half, for um, to put in the, in the liquid for more texture. Yeah, it's just the same, everything is the same, but I have a little bit more crunch, yeah. Most important that I blend these up together to make the nice flavor from the runny liquid. And yeah, of course I need some water yeah, to make it a nice um, runny base from my granola. And I will see how much water I will need after the blender dance, yeah. Then better add something later than too early. Otherwise, you can't change it. So the letter ends now. That's so much fun. Yeah? It relates to my body and that makes a connection. Yeah, I now have more inspiration then. Really, it gets very deep. Dancing activates the whole brain. Music and dancing together. You have nothing comparable on the whole planet in our culture that activates the brain as much as dancing together with music. It has to be a nice music you like and then all works. Ritual is science. It's science based. <laughs> it's not just a joke. And uh, what I'm doing, oh, it's a little bit, yeah, too, 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 um, too thick, yeah, for my flavor. <clears throat> I'm going to need a lot of raisins here to make it a little bit more flavorful, tasty, but it's so nice to put the raisin together with the flax. So, so a little bit more water. I don't want to have it um, so thick, but it's also, that also depends you like now have two cups of water maybe a little bit more I would use this a little bit more like a, a cream
cream yeah, or a milk yeah, um, for my muesli. The muesli will mostly be fruit. I show you in a second. So this has to be the base. Oh yeah, like a dressing in the fruit salad a little bit, but more with the very much content. Although this is what keeps me mm, going all day. I don't need to eat anything after that for hours. I tried that before, and um, what's what's also nice here. I show you what it looks like, and this is the the thickness I would like here. I show you this is what I like. And the flaxseed will gel up a little bit. Now that is the one thing I forgot to mention from the flaxseed, very important. Um, not to underestimate the detoxifying um, effect of the flax. The flaxseed, they have a gel that puts water on the on the flag on the flaxseed and the gel comes out. Like in the chia seed, also the same, or buckwheat has that too. And these gels have something in common, very important for us, because they take away the heavy metals from the body and eliminate it. Otherwise, without that, the body would tend to keep the heavy metals, you have to store it in the liver, um, in the inner organs like the, the kidneys and everywhere, and that's not so good because they destroy. Yeah. Heavy metals destroy their radicals, their free radicals, little um, ions that fly around and bomb the DNA. And the DNA is vital for us, of course. If we um, change our DNA, uh, we get sick and aging, premature, and these kind of things. So very important to keep the DNA healthy and going, and the heavy metals, they destroy it. So good to have flaxseed like or buckwheat or, um, or um, other gel building um, substances, yeah, uh, chia seed, um, to get that cleansing done. So this is um, gelling up a little bit more, but it doesn't need to because the blending does it all very quickly. Now I have put my fruit in there and I have three fruit here. Oh, first I forgot. First I, I put my, uh, the rest of the, the walnuts and the raisins in there. I showed you already because I want that crunchy texture. I tried it before without the crunchy texture, and it was okay, I could eat it. Yeah, it was okay, not wrong, but I was missing something crunchy, really, for sure. And what you could also do, if you like, yeah, this is a very simple take three version. Yeah, you could also put um, sunflower seeds in, or whatever you like, you know, these kind of things, that makes it also crunchy. I keep it now simple, because I want to prefer to have every day a little bit different. Some people would say, okay, in one meal, I have to have everything I need, and that's it, I go. That's okay too, yeah? But by me, it's a little bit different. I prefer to make a little change every day. For example, today I eat the flax seed, tomorrow I eat the sunflower seed, the day after tomorrow I eat the buckwheat, yeah? That is something I like more, to have the variety and a little bit more specification, but that is up to you, yeah? That's, I don't think that not so important. So now I show you, I put the, a pear in here, nice crunchy pear. Uh, I just cleanse it a little bit from outside, the dirt away, and the rest can be say, can be, can stay, can stay in here. Yeah, here, nice, it swims in there, and it goes down, and you see a little on the top, that's very nice in the effect. So this way, I have a nice uh, vision of everything, and still all in there. And the banana here, one banana, not too much, because it's very keeping, I tell you. It's a rich breakfast, very inexpensive. You see, the banana is inexpensive, the apple, here another apple, uh, one apple maybe, and the pear. It's a very easy and available, easy available, and uh, very healthy too. So that's basically all I need. I will toss a little fold it in a little bit. And um, just to fancy, it's I have two parts, two trinities now. Remember I have the dressing, yeah, the flax seeds, um, the walnuts and the raisins. Then I have the second part, the main part, the fruit, yeah, apple, pear, banana, the two. The third part is a little topping, just to make it a little more exciting. Yeah, Nothing is nearly needed, but it adds a little bit, a nice color, the texture and flavor is exotic. Yeah, Here, you see, it's um, you know, goji berries, for example. Yeah, you can take any other thing or 
whatever. I like a little topping here to make it more beautiful. And of course, it adds a lot of biodiversity. Yeah, that's, that's also very nice uh, if uh, the food is um, diverse and um, because according to the plant-based kingdom, we have a plant kingdom, we have so many different plants. And when I begin to eat um, vegan or even raw, yeah, that is uh, very nice. I like raw food, as you may know, <laughs> have noticed by now, you follow. Um, I, the, the, this variety, the endless variety of the plant-based kingdom opens up uh, to my kitchen. It's so nice and the simple method to put only, only three ingredients, very small uh, units, and to compose the food from these trinities, little trinities, that makes it really a fantastic method uh, to go through everything, all the difference. I go to a health food shop, I look what I like, and I take it, um, and then I combine it at home and, and find these little trinities. And so I find um, like, a, like a red thread yeah, that's um, leading me, guiding me through the labyrinth of um, the endless variety of food. Plant-based food, of course. Yeah. When I ate meat and dairy uh, a long time ago, <laughs> in 30 years or so, I stopped. Uh, I was eating always the same, yeah? always, basically. I mean, some, some minor, minor changes, but this is really something new. And it makes so much sense, healthy, and, and, and the intellect is growing yeah, because you have so much diversity. The mind, the intelligence, um, rises if you do everything a little bit different every day. Also, science behind it, you can look it up. And also, we can talk about it on YouTube or Facebook, whatever you like. You can subscribe, MDV, on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And um, I hope to see you soon.